Well, my name is Roy Pilcher, and we're at two miles from Devil's Tower. And uh, I carve with a chainsaw, and I typically use bug-killed wood. Not always, but that's kind of what I do. I'm educating people as they go. You know, they'll come in and they'll say, what do you want for that moose? And I say, $150. Oh! Ah! And I say, well, what would you charge for it? You know, here's how many hours I got in it. Here's how many dollars worth of tools I got. What do you think it's worth? You know, and then that raises their thinking and, you know, but um, I don't, boy, I guess if I thought I had trouble selling the stuff, I'd probably lower the price or something, but I'm as competitive as most of the carvers and I'm a little better than most of the carvers, you know, so uh -huh. I don't know. It's all value related, you know, what they think they're getting. I wish, I wish there was more people in the area. Mm -hmm. I wish there was, you know, and this is kind of a two-edged sword, I wish there was a million people in Wyoming instead of 500,000. But, you know, because people don't realize that a lot of people doing what I do live in a town that's got as many people as they got, I got in the state. I was a logger for 20 years, and uh, then the local mill bought the other mills, and I thought, ooh, this looks like a monopoly to me, so. I decided to try this. I was promoting a carver from Belfouche, South Dakota. And uh, I did it six months part-time, and then I was full-time for a year and a half. And then I met a guy in Wisconsin that does really good eagles. So I went to him for a week, and, and that's the schooling I had. But, but I was already making a living at it before I went to that for the eagles. So I got a lot to learn yet. I'm, I consider myself a seven on a scale of one to 10. And there's not a lot of 10s out there, but there's, there's more than you think.